Hi, Anthony here from West Coast Custom Concrete. This video will be on a city uh, approach, driveway approach. This is um, Jose from the uh, inspector from the city of Costa Mesa laying the um, approach out. That's Cy from NOLA Construction. He's the general who hired me for the job. He's laying it out. Originally, we had to take out the um, city approach. That's considered city property, the approach. There's no sidewalks in this neighborhood. And they want me to take the curb and gutter and four um, feet of the asphalt out. And um, here's here I am with my case 420, going to demo the approach out. And then I was going to demo the curb and gutter. Later, they told me I didn't have to. So this job kind of changed plans for the better. This case is turbo, just thing sweet. Just blows right through this, no problem. I'm a badass operator on it. So I could just, I do all my own demos. Breaking, hauling, matching right through it. That's a GB general breaker, 550 pound breaker. I'm just prying up, a, a lift it up to get a void in it. So then I could just go bust it up, smaller pieces. I'm going to load a size dump truck. All right, I'm just loading it up. I had to put some base down because it's about eight inches to get back up over the curb. So I threw some, you threw some road base down because I have to have six inches of base in there anyway. That size dump, I'm just throwing it in there. I have my dump trailer here because I'm hauling the dirt because you got to go six inches down on the dirt. Right here and i don't want to go up on the street with the dirt and make a mess so i want to stay on the property and load it and this case has got a pretty high reach but if i brought my dump truck i wouldn't be able to reach because i'm going to be 12 inches down once i dig it out but i can load the dump trailer and my friend richard was back filling his pool about a mile away so i was just round tripping the dump trailer a mile and dumping in his driveway see this thing's got plenty of reach i mean i could easily do it from down below and not come up and down the curb you can see how steep it is. I had to go down 12 inches. So I put my ramps to get out of there. I had to put some dirt on the street. And then the, the city uh, calls for six inches of road base compacted to 95% and then six inches of concrete. So it's 12 inches down. And then Jose, right before I was going to break the curb out, told me I didn't have to. We could horizontal cut it. So I called uh, Garrett's out of Chino Hills. They were the only game in town with this horizontal saw. And um, they horizontally cut the curb to, to widen the approach. And I didn't have to take the curb and gutter or cut the street. Only a couple of licenses uh, will let you do approaches and curb and gutter. That's an A license and a C8, what I have. So they let me pull the permit to do the curb and gutter and the approach, but I didn't have to. Here's Javier and Milton laying it out. So we demoed it and set it up in one day. And then I called Jose the city inspector for the next day at 10 to check the compaction and the um, elevations and stuff. And I had uh, Charlie Case bringing the concrete on hold. Here we are whacking it down. You got to get 95%. This is all same day demo setup. Here's Jose the next day. He's checking the site. That's considered a sidewalk right behind Javier. And they wanted a 2%. And then they want the approach at 10%. You know, you got to have a smart level to get the percentage. It cuts the math out of the equation, makes it super simple. And they want to see 3250 concrete mix. That's a city mix, which in my opinion is the best mix anyway. And uh, the city doesn't call for any rebar in any of their sidewalks or curb and gutters or or their approaches because they plan on demoing them, I guess, but they don't want anything in it. They just want you to use this mix design, six inches of base, six inches of concrete. Here's Javier rodding it down. We put that flow line across because um, that's where the, the sidewalk where we need 2%. So we have it set perfect where we just rod to the bottom of that, of that screen board and then the top of the form and that's 2%. And then it sloped down to 10% put a bull float on it to densify the surface and compact it, get any um, holes or anything out. 
they didn't call for any joints or anything, but we jointed it to separate their sidewalk there because it'll crack right there. And then we joined it up dead center up the middle. They're planned cracks because they're going to crack there. So now they'll crack inside our control joints and you'll never see the cracks. Here's Javier at the smart level. We got 2% right there. It's perfect. He's checking everything. You can assure if he's doing it, it's coming out right. I don't even sweat it. Here's Milton here, edging it. This is the same job I did the um, the porch and the sidewalk and the side of the yard with the um, curb. And the next video will be the driveway. It all went together like a puzzle. The whole, each piece just fell together, the sidewalk from the house to the driveway to this, to the side of the house and the curb we put up. It just went together like a puzzle. We threw a broom on it because the rest of the um, property is broom, so we broom this too. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it.